Apo? Dito rin sa Terminal 1. Uh, immigration control dito pa rin po. Pero yung bagahe po nila na hand carry, doon na po. Bagahe dito rin po i-clear. Yes ma'am, can I go back to you? Yes. Ma'am, hindi ko po alam. Nandun po sa, hindi ko po alam kung tuloy-tuloy na po yung proseso. But when I left, uh, that has been the next move. So, hindi ko po alam. Kaya nga pagkatapos po rito, babalik ko ulit ako ron. So, sir, investigahan yung pilot mo? Investigahan yung pilot na kamera? Uh, no, let's not speculate first what are the things has to be done. We have to first make sure that the passengers are clear, safe, and secure. That the investigations or what have, what have you, later on na po yan, sa kanan natin ho pag-usapan. Ang importante ho ngayon, kapakanan ng pasahero, siguradad ng mga pasahero, kaligtasan ng pasahero kung meron mang banta. Yun po ang ating ginagawa ngayon. Pero sir, it's unusual no, for a pilot na mapindot yun twice. Sir, please don't put uh, words into my mouth. I don't want to speculate. Sir, I'm sorry. Ma'am, wala pa po. As I've said uh, earlier. Oh, what was it? Accidentally? Or? Yeah. Well, I don't know who. There are two, actually. I don't know if it's the first officer or the pilot in command. Sa loob po ng taxi. Pero sir, by the fact na na ano siya? But, and then to, I'm sorry, to own up to the mistakes, yung paglapang when they landed? Yes. Uh, uh, so, either first officer or first officer. Uh, so, sir, by the fact quiet, na... Please. Sir, by the fact na nailapag siya, meaning, must save siya. I mean, there's... Oh, yes. Um, in all situations, uh, when the aircraft is on ground, that's the best uh, place to be if there's if it's under threat. Kahit saan mo tingnan yun. Pag nasa baba ang aeroplano at mayroong threat, that's the, place, the best place to be. So, sure. meaning sir, baka wala naman terorista lang siya. Uh, Can you pwede. say that? Hindi ko po ma'am sasabi kasi yung proseso pa po sila nasa proseso pa sa pag-clear ng airplan. But if we take the word, huwag mo akong ikakat dito ha, but if we take the word of the crew, gano'n ang sinasabi nila. But then again, ayoko hong magsabi na yun nga po ang nararapat. Kasi meron tayong proseso. Yes ma'am. The what? Um, well, it's supposed to be the uh, uh, CAAP. And likewise, we'll, we will also do our own investigation. We will also do. Uh, it's a joint investigation, the APD, uh, the, airport, uh, the police, uh, PNP, MIA, and the uh, uh, CAAP. CAB? Yes, they were there. Uh, actually, we convened uh, the uh, uh, crisis committee. What possible charges? Ma'am, hindi ko po alam. I cannot categorically say the charges. Uh, 3.7 po. Apo. Kasi at the end of the day, it's the responsibility of the, air, of the airline. Kami po ay support lang at gagawin lang po namin ang tamang proseso sa seguridad ng ating paliparan. Yes. So uh, we leave it up to the passengers and the airline at the end of the day. Raul? Sir, ang, ang general victim is the pilot is in command. Yes, sir. Right? Now, assuming the crew made a mistake in pressing that button or the pilot, but the confirmation was made by the Manila Boso Since the pilot in command is the pilot in it's difficult to speculate right now. Okay, uh, there's a process. We will do the process in terms of investigation if there would be you know, uh, need to do for the investigation. But at the end of the day, uh, basically, it's an airline's responsibility at the moment. Okay, you may inconvenience na may inconvenience sa mga pasayaw ay dapat sabutin ang airline. Kasi at, uh, kami lang po ang may-ari ng facility. At ang aming uh, ginagawa ay mamantina ang ating siguridad at uh, pangkaligtasan ng ating mga pasayaw. By the way, just for those who were asking if uh, 
the there was already a disembarkation. Yes, uh, there's a note from here. Uh, disembarkation is almost done. Most passengers are already in gate 15 for processing by immigration. So, nando na ho sila na ibaba na po yung mga pasero. Sir, message sa uh, ating mga publiko that uh, monitored all these uh, uh, incidents. Uh, Unang-una po, uh, kami po yung meaning ng pamanhin. Kung halimbawa mayroong mga apekto ang uh, mga kamag-anak doon sa onboard. But uh, kami po sa pamunuan ng MIA, sa PNPASG, pati yung Civil and Nautics uh, Authority of the Philippines, ay ginagawa po namin ito para sa kaligtasan at uh, kapakanan ng ating mandatakbay. Ayaw po namin gumawa ng mga bagay-bagay na hindi po tayo sigurado tungkol sa security and safety of the passages. Yun po ang unang uh, panuntunan sa itong uh, paglilingkod namin sa ating uh, paliparan. So kung mayroon po kami pagkukulang, konting pasensya, pero kami po ay ginagawa namin ang lahat para maayos ang ating paliparan. Yung ba ang pag-activate ng device? Was it done? Um, sir, I'm relying from what I've, uh, I've heard. Okay? Nagbigay ho ng distress call, nireconfirm ho ng tower, tapos kinonfirm ulit okay. ng uh, crew. So, Apo, pagbigay ho ng code, uh, meron ho ng code, ito yung kasabihin ko anong kalaring code. Magkakaroon ho yun, magtitrigger ho yun sa, sa tower. Tapos, ang tower naman, to make sure that it's validated, will reconfirm. Tapos, nung nireconfirm, kinonfirm ulit ng, ng uh, crew. So, sir, ano, may report daw na ano, um, situation under control, airplane door has to open, no hostiles inside. So, what does this mean if uh, walang hostile? Ay, salamat po kung walang uh, hostile uh, uh, passengers. At uh, sigurado po tayo na maayos po yung uh, kaligtasan ng ating mga pasahero. So after this, anong gagawin sa kanila? I-debrief nyo ba sila? Or Sino? Yung mga pasahero? Uh, sa tingin ko, wala naman yung trauma yata nangyari sa loob. So there's no reason for us to debrief and uh, do some counseling. Unless there was really, uh, how to call this, uh, a situation wherein that calls for it, then pwede ho namin gawin. Pero sa ngayon, ho, sasabi nga ninyo, kayo nagsabi nito na kalmado naman ho lahat. Uh, I personally would not recommend for... Sir, yes, ma'am. Yeah. We're going to be asking the same question in a week. Sir, can you cite to us the timeline of all this? Kailan po nagsimula? Ano nangyari? What time? Okay. Um, actually, I was not conscious of the time kanina na eh. But somebody gave me all the timings uh, now. Um, the, the call was received by Tawet around uh, 2.16. Okay. Uh, for saying that the aircraft is under threat. It's under threat. Uh, and then, so as a matter of course of action, uh, we uh, issued a plan for. Plan for for emergency situations here at the airport is hijacking. So all agencies were asked to convene. At around... Sir, clarify lang po, all agencies meaning PNP, uh, ano po? Yeah, lahat pong support group, uh, MIA, APD, ASP, uh, CAP, uh, kasama ho, tsaka yung mga resp other uh, responding units, like uh, kung kailangan ho ng additional fire trucks around, uh, so na, na they're on standby, but definitely we have our own. I'll just stress, I would like to stress that we have, MIA has their own fire trucks, and we are compliant. Uh, the supporting agencies like uh, SPD, uh, the NC NCRPO uh, uh, chief was also uh, on hand. So it was a joint force. Everything was really activated uh, to make sure that uh, everything will be handled uh, properly. Okay, sir. Sir, continue. Yeah, okay. At around uh, 14.39, which is 2.39, uh, the aircraft uh, landed. Okay. Upon landing, the instruction, if I just, I, I'm just relaying to you what I saw because I was at the ramp. Upon landing, the aircraft, based on what I, I saw, were instructed to exit at the end of uh, runway 06 to go through the taxiway. Uh, while taxiing, uh, we told them to slow down because there was a quote-unquote uh, disabled aircraft. It's an international carrier <coughs> who had a problem with their brakes. So we had to re tow the aircraft back to the ramp. It took a little while. 
and uh, the aircraft was uh, asked to uh, taxi to where the isolated parking is. That was, if you would picture uh, the place, it's about uh, at the end of runway, C uh, no, I'm sorry, at the start of runway 06, which is near Multinational uh, Avenue or road. It's on the right side uh, before turning left to the starting point. Naging complicated ba ako? Starting point. Sa dulo ng runway po. So doon po sila. Uh, we decided to uh, put the aircraft there. Uh, one is because most of our parking areas right now are occupied. That's the only area that uh, we have a bigger space, less people, less uh, movements, less air. There's no aircraft in, uh, on the side to make sure just in case there would be some issues. Mababawasan po yung mga damage in the periphery. Sir, pagkatapos po ng 439? Pagkatapos po ng 439, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry, 2, 239. Ah, 239. 1439. 1439 is 239. Okay. Um, we did some communications with the crew. Uh, together with the uh, airline uh, managers and uh, we decided and uh, together with uh, the, the on-scene commander to execute the plan. The plan meaning we will disembark the passengers at that area and then uh, do the x-ray of their hand, uh, hand, hand baggage and after that, after the clearing, the passengers will be brought to uh, the uh, terminal. Sir, just a clarification. Ano yung nationality ng pilot? Sir, wala ho kong listahan ng uh, gender. Okay. Sir, ano yung crew? Oh, Ano yung crew natin? Ten. Ano ba yung gender? Dos, ten. Two and ten? Two and eight. Ah, two and eight daw. Two and eight. Two and eight. Ibig sabihin yung pagkadalawa, dalawang cockpit crew, walo po ang flight crew. Ang uh, cabin crew. Sigurado kaya, 2 and 8, ha? Sir, ano yun, ha? Oh, ganun na ngayon. Wala na. Those were the days my flight engineers. Wala na. Third one, wala na. Hindi rin. It's, uh, the aircraft has been designed already to have only two, two months. How many passengers, sir? 308? Three. 413. 413. Pero pwede yan. Pwede yan sa ano yun, Sir, hindi ho kasama ko. 413 plus... Who's our on-site commander? Uh, it's Colonel, uh, General Aplaska. General, General uh, Mau, Mau, Aplaska. Mau Aplaska. He is the uh, uh, director for uh, uh, Aviation Security Group. Aviation Security Group. Okay. Correction, 410 passages now. 410. Wala pa kuma. 2 and 8 daw. 2 and 8. Dalawang cockpit. Walong uh, cabin crew. Ganun po ang panon, sir. So, after 239, sir, what happened? Ah, well, uh, we start negotiating, uh, doing uh, the preparation. So that's why it took a little while. We're assessing the situation because at that time, uh, we still consider the aircraft a hostile situation. So, alam niyo na, sir, nagkamali na? Sinabi po sa amin, nagkamali. Pero... We don't want to take chances. Considering the way it was reported to us, mahirap po ang pakasakali. Yung piloto po ang nagsabi, nagkamali. But pero despite that, hindi pa rin ang pwedeng... No ma'am, we have to follow the, the SOP. So after 239, what happened? Ah, uh, until uh, I left, what time did I leave the place? Huh? Ano na? Passport. Ang mga passport. Uh, we were preparing the requirements for the disembarkation. We uh, put in place the uh, stairways, the air steps. We also uh, uh, asked the uh, mobile X-ray X -ray of MIA to be brought to the scene. Uh, we positioned our uh, police and uh, PNP uh, group at the site. Uh, we also required uh, uh, the medical people also there on scene. Um, all the supporting agencies were also around. Um, so, GM, the only reason why they're isolated is that they don't have anything else. No, not really. It's an SOP, ma'am. When there is a situation like bomb threat or terrorism or whatever, they're isolated. So, they're isolated if there's a collateral damage. Sir, 
Yes, oh, yes. And most of the parking areas are occupied. Well, yeah, uh, we cannot uh, put that, first of all, uh, near the cargo area. Kasi uh, meron po tayong magkakaproblema. Normally, oh, remote place po yan. Uh, meron nung isang area ginagawa rin na ho namin sa may balagbag. Pero kung dadalim pa ho namin yung aeroplano sa balagbag, it will be, there will be a lot of inconvenience to the passage kung talagang negative naman po yung situation. Yes, ma'am. Hanggang kailan po yung plane? Ah, siguro pakatapos nitong uh, ma-clear na po ang aeroplano and then uh, also uh, our uh, ASG is satisfied with uh, safety or security issues, then uh, we'll uh, release the, uh, the aircraft. Sir, after this paneling na yung gagawin nyo? Yes, sir. Okay. Sir, so, what about the safety of the airport? Oh, it's hard to be expected. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Sir, do you have to investigate that? I mean, in the back of the airport? Yes, I said it. I don't know. So, it's the better authority that is CAA. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Sorry, sir. Dalawa po, uh, two and eight. Dalawang cockpit crew, tapos walo pong uh, tawag dito, uh, cabin crew. Recto, Erba, question. Sir, can you get... Ano po masasabi nyo dito sa ano? Hearing sa Congress. Oh, any more questions? Just, just to clarify, sir. Hello. Uh, when the CIP does an investigation, does that mean they question the pilot and the... Hindi ko po alam po anong proseso. Siguro the better person or authority is to ask uh, CIP. Uh, Mahirap po magsabi ng uh, sambagay na hindi ko po alam. 